Hello my friends and welcome to my installation video of Aquarian Skies 2. Today we're going to install it by using Curse Voice, which you see right in front of you. This beautiful thing is in beta stage. I'll give you the address down below, but here's the address up here if you can read it. It's beta.cursevoice.com. We're going to click on the download now link and we're just going to go ahead and click run. Um, while this thing runs, let me just get a disclaimer. I'm not an expert at this. I don't know how to answer most of your questions. I will give a stab at them if they're pretty basic. Let's go ahead and hit install. Um, but most likely I don't know them and I'm just going to show you what works for me here. Um, I will leave a link down below for the forms if you do have questions where you can ask the intelligent questions to the intelligent people. I am not intelligent. I just have fun. All right. Now let's go ahead and we're going to install it. We're, we're running through it right now. We're using this thing called Curse Voice. Now I believe it is going to be a lot like Skype or it is a lot like Skype. Um, you can communicate and talk and play with your friends all together in one little nice little package. Curse Voice is also not uh, like, not like uh, the launchers that we've used before. It is, uh, let's go ahead and launch Curse. It is a lot like, uh, it's integrated into the system. Most of our launchers that feed the beast and the other ones that we use, they don't, you could delete them right off the hard drive and they're gone. This, you have to actually install it and if you want to get rid of it you have to use the uninstall programs in your thing let me sign in i'll be right back all right we're all signed in ready to go this is the first splash screen that you have just hit x get out of it it's just a little thing and then this just walks you through you can do a little information you can see i'm from orlando florida and then you can connect your friends and sync it up i'm not sure really how to do it and now we have our cursed voice screen all set and ready to go if you notice up here at the top, there's a home screen. This is what we're looking at now. We're going to create a Minecraft tab up here. We're going to do it enable now. And it's going to look and make sure we have it installed. So it's validating. And it does. And now we have two tabs up here. And now we have it all set. This is really, really cool. Um, I watched a video by Direwolf20 about this a little bit. He talks about how you can search and look for all the different mod packs and how to use it. And one thing that's really cool is you can create your own mod pack and you can create your own mods and it all just automatically works. So if you create a mod that needs other mods, it automatically installs. It's really cool. I'll leave a link down below. Let's go ahead and broad, broad, browse all packs right now. And we're going to sort it by popularity right now. And the most popular thing right now is Aquarian Skies 2. So we're just going to go ahead and click the install button here. And you can see that it's installing. Now we're on the Minecraft tab here, right? Yep, we're on the Minecraft tab. We were on the, the browse, and you can see it's still there. And you can go back. There's a ways to navigate back and forth here, but this is the main page. And these would be all the packs that you install. So I haven't installed anything before. This is my first time. We'll see what happens with Aquarian Skies, and we'll get it loaded up in just a minute. It takes a minute. We'll be right back. All right, as you can see down in the bottom of our screen here, it is installed complete, and also the play button's all ready to go. We're going to click play right here. It's going to bring up the Minecraft launcher that we're used to seeing. Um, give me just a second for that. All right, let me log on real quick, and I'll be right with you. Okay, I've all logged on and ready to go. You can notice there's a profile called Aquarian Skies 2, which is kind of cool. Um, this is the first installation that we have of this mod pack. Um, usually the first ones take a while to install. And a trick that I've learned along the way is I'm going to click Edit Profile down here. And it brings up this window here, and we're going to click Launch Visibility, and we're going to click the drop-down box and keep the launcher open. And we're going to save it right here. And now we're going to go ahead and hit Play. What we just did is this window usually closes down as soon as Minecraft gets going. And we sit here. I don't know about you, but I get, okay, after 30 seconds, I go, okay, is it going to run? Is it going to run? I start getting excited and go, oh, it's not going to run. I get, I get, I get a little, you know, antsy. So... This will let us know if it's still running or not. So let me show you how that works. It's just about to go away. Normally, this screen would have just now disappeared, but we got a new tab now. And this tab keeps it open, shows us what's going on. It shows us that it's running. And in just a second, the Minecraft screen will show up here and it'll be blank. And then that's the one I usually get a really antsy on because it goes, okay, where's Mojang? Where's Mojang? Is he ever going to show up here? But now we have the screen up and ready to go. And we can see that it's still running in the background. Yes, can we? Can we? Can we? Can we? 
Yep, see, it's still running. So we know that it's okay. So we're going to sit back and relax and wait till it gets done installing. Mojang. All right, we have it all installed and ready to go. Aquarian Skies 2. This pack is still in alpha mode. Blah, 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 blah. All right, so we are all set and ready to go. Let's go ahead and click continue here. First thing I want to do is turn off the music. Lovely music. Done. All right. This is the screen that um, she has created, and it's a really cool screen. And let me go ahead and get this a little bit bigger. There we go. Um, what we're going to do is there's a lot of information here. You can actually go to the guides. She hasn't really put out many. There's a wiki. It takes you right to the wiki form. If you have problems, you go to the form. Um, I believe that's it. It's even got, oh, don't leave. That's kind of cool. All right, so we're going to click single player here. And we're going to go through all these. I think there's six of them real quick. And uh, let's go ahead and start All the Remains Hard. Okay, we are on the All the Remains Hard. And it, all that remains is literally not much. It's a little laggy right now because it's still installing. Um, from what I can tell, I don't have it set up. Uh, to start the world and get it going, you need backslash HQM quest. And it will in, open up the book for you now. And we can go through the book. But I believe they're all exactly the same, depending if you're in hard, easy, or normal. Um, it's just the worlds and things that you, you set up with. Even that stuff in your inventory is basically the same in all the different versions that you choose. So whatever you choose, choose what you like. Um, this just it just has some random stuff. It's like creepers went a little crazy. All right, the next we're going to do is the Morve Cottage uh, uh, normal. I believe this one's just like the original Agorian Skies. Okay, this one's just like the original Agorian Skies. Changed a little bit. Has a little river, and I don't believe that was here. I'm not 100% sure Aquarian Skies, but this is the normal one. So we'll go ahead and check out the next four. Be right back. This one has an interesting layout. It's just basically four little areas. It has some water, and just a little decorative here and there. Um, it's just another platform. All right, we'll be right back for the next one. Ah, put a tree. Kind of like a bonsai kind of thing. Kind of a Japanese theme or. Asian theme, I guess. I hope I'm not uh, upsetting anybody by my references here. Um, but basically, it's just another way of making the world. All right, we'll keep on going. Which I guess this is, I don't know, I don't remember the river being in the back on the original one. So they got the river back there in the back of the stream. I don't remember it, and I apologize. But this is easy mode, so I'm wondering if they uh, have some stuff going on. Um, okay, and last but not least we have the default platform. Now the default platform is a lot like Sky Factory and the other ones where it starts with just a tree and a little platform. Um, we got a piece of dirt here and a platform. So that's just all there is to it. So there's not much to this one. So that is the six areas that you can go to. Now lastly, let me show you one other thing. If you want, you can, if you screw up and you want to start over, um, you know, where do I download the worlds now that I messed it up? You don't have to. Just click this button up to the top left called Reset. And you can click the ones that you want to reset. And basically resetting all these back to the original format. And it was just a confirmation thing. So that is how simple it is. It's dangerous too because you can reset everything back and destroy your world. So to make sure if you want to save something, you back it up and rename it. But if not, everything's been reset. Everything's back to the original condition. You can start your map all over again as if you've never been there. Now, I hope that's helped a little bit in the installation. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Make sure you check out the forms that I'll leave a link for. And uh, I hope to see you playing the game with me and along with me. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.